I've been seeing tweets on Twitter, like people making jokes like, this divine collaboration of the century, <laughs> like some funny shit. And why you like, playing? And why you playing? Because like, you know, real. you have a smartphone, you can put yourself out there. So like, that's why he's making jokes. Like, it's this is my life. But like, that's how I look at my phone too. Like, people always try to like talk down, like, oh, you got followers and this and that. Like, what you gonna do with it? It's like, nigga, I'm making money. Well, the crazy part about it, I already had the song. Somebody was talking about her probably like a year and a half ago in the studio. I was in the studio with Trey Songs, and somebody from Chicago was talking about her. That's just how big she was in Chicago and going crazy in the music scene. They was like, man, and they was, you know how people be trying to get folks signed and stuff? Mm -hmm. They be like, yo, Trey, you need to goddamn go talk to this girl named Tony Romitty. She's from Chicago. She get damn near three million views over the place. Look, so we all, so we not knowing, we all in there looking. Yeah. So I hit her up. This before you had like even your following or anything. So I hit her up on, on Instagram and I was like, yo, your music fire, man. And she was like, oh, I'm a fan of yours. I was like, back yeah. then, we need to link up. Yeah, it was more like, he hit me up and he was like, hey, little ugly, I got this song. And I was like, all right, send it to me. Never thought a nigga fall in love like this. But now I'm falling. Never thought a nigga fall in love like this. Nigga, I know you loving this. Never thought a nigga fall in love like this. But now I'm falling. Never thought a nigga fall in love like this. Look at you falling, look at you well, falling. It's certain women like you talk to, but it's like, you ain't really told her no secrets. You don't really, can't really trust her all the way. You can't trust her with your, with your route and um, your bank account information. You dig what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. it's like, at this at this point of stage in era like this life, if your spouse not your best friend, it's not gonna work. And at that moment, I was feeling like, this song right here is, is for my best friend. It's, it's for someone that was first my best friend. She don't even know I don't fell in love. She let me know if, if this love, cause if you say yeah, then I think I love you. Buy me what I want. You got it. Buy me what I need. I got you. Make sure that I'm scratch. You got it. Got me all my feet. I got you. Never baby. thought a nigga fall in love like this. Never thought a nigga fall in love like this. Never thought a nigga fall in love like this. Nigga, you fallin', nigga, nigga you, you fallin'. fallin'. I feel uncomfortable when people buy me things. You feel like uncomfortable? When women buy me stuff. Cause I don't want that to be like the basis of our relationship. I don't really care for that. Like if we can hang out and enjoy each other, then like that's really what I care about anyway. I mean, yeah, I like to like go out and like if it's my fucking birthday, yeah, buy me something. But like, <laughs> like you me. act like a piece of shit and then you give me a gift. Like that doesn't add up. Like I don't want your gift. Like that doesn't make me happy. I'm still pissed off. Never thought that I would fall in love like this, but now I'm falling. Never thought that I would get my all like this, but now I'm all in. Never thought I'd be sprung like this, never thought I want to have your kids. Everyone kind of been in a situation where they felt like they would never do something again because of how much it hurt them that time before. I just kind of said all of the things that you would never expect when you first meet someone or like when you start to date someone and you grow to love them and like understand or think that you're in love and like being hurt so many times before, you're just kind of like, I'm never doing this again. And then you meet someone and you're like, I never thought that I would feel this way again. I never thought you could have my heart. Every night you got it, hope these feelings never fade. You touch my body, boy, in all the right places. We switch positions, now we making a bad shape. And now we're kissing while we're making love faces. I wouldn't be with someone if I didn't if I wasn't sexually attracted to them or enjoyed having sex with them. It's definitely important when you have that emotional connection with them because it feels so much better. I never thought that I would be in love. I ain't never been in love before. I don't even know how this go. Girl, you got me falling. When you come from the hood, big dog, you know what I'm saying? It ain't really, love ain't really in the hood like that. People think they love. You just want to have a lot of women around you so you can feel love. We don't really know what love is. So when I actually got the, this feeling, it got to be love because this is a different feeling. I'm so gangster. So when I'm feeling this tingly feeling, I'm like, I don't want to feel tingly. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I only feel tingly around you. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, is it love? I can't keep it on the low. I hit you, baby, rubbing on that body. I need you, baby, ride me like a Harley. Hey, big dog, your boy right here, eat pussy, man. My little, my eat a little ass from time to time. If you clean, if I, if I see you get out of that shower, you dig what I'm saying? I'm real affectionate. I'm real. I like to please a woman, but that's that's the best thing God put on this earth, besides money. And I needed to get on top, cause sometimes I get a little tired. I don't want to work, so I'm gonna need you to go on ahead. Do what you gotta do. 
It's gonna stand up. 